the men's downhill, the ski jump and the freestyle on Sochi Beach this summer. As temperatures here soared into the 30s, the eccentricity of staging the Winter Olympics in a Black Sea resort was obvious. To be fair, when we filmed in the nearby mountains in January, the conditions were fantastic. But just weeks later, some Olympic test events were cancelled due to melting snow and rain. And so the Russian organisers made a plan. Just in case there's another warm winter, they've stored last year's snow as a backup. Dotted around the main ski resort are huge piles of it, covered in reflective insulation. Inside each of these huge silver slugs, there are literally thousands of tons of snow. The scheme is so vast, it is the biggest snow storing operation the world has ever seen. And it's working. So far, only 20% of the snow has melted. And the manager of the resort is confident he'll still have half of it by the time the games start in February. You only get the Olympics once in your life, so we have to cover all possibilities. This work is almost certainly unnecessary, but we might use this snow to build up the ski jumps or something. The organisers are desperate for the Games to be a success. Helicopters are helping build backup generators. And the biggest snowmaking system in Europe is already installed. But that needs sub-zero temperatures. And last February, they soared to 19 degrees Celsius. We were lucky that uh, last winter, the abnormal warm uh, winter happened. And we suffered uh, with the shortage of snow. But despite of that, we were able to organize uh, all the competition and uh, uh, we tested uh, all our technology out of our uh, special dedicated program and we expect that this winter we will be uh, facing the, the different challenges and we will be fighting with the uh, snow, removing that rather uh, finding how to bring them from the storage. It was always a gamble. Staging the Winter Olympics in a region of southern Russia with great mountains, but best known for its seaside resort. Daniel Sanford, BBC News, Sochi.